syndrome. Now in advanced syndrome is the second most common autosomal trisomy. So first, uh, the most common autosomal trisomy is Down syndrome, which is of chromosome number 21. And after that, we have Edwards syndrome. And remember that in Edwards syndrome, death usually will occur within one year of birth. And it is associated with the advanced maternal age. So likewise, we as we have seen in Down syndrome, where there is increased chances of baby suffering from down syndrome if there is uh, the mother age is greater than 35 years so similarly like down syndrome we have here edward syndrome which is, is associated with advanced maternal age and now this edward syndrome is more common in female than male so it, it has female to male ratio is 3 is to 1 now we move on to the other associated informations See in trisomy 18 which occurs due to meiotic non-disjunction so remember that in this what will happen is that head is small that is micrognathia when the head would be small then the uh, amount of gray and white matter would be less so that will lead to intellectual disabilities and also as the face is small so there would be low set ears and it also has rocker bottom feet with clenched hands and a prominent occiput and also remember that in edward syndrome we have hypertonia in all other syndrome we have usually hypotonia but in edward syndrome we have hypertonia now the congenital heart disease associated with it are ventricular septal defect and the patent ductus arteriosus. Gastrointestinal involvement is common that is mucus diverticulum and malrotation. Renal involvement we see is uh, in form of horseshoe shaped kidneys, vesico ureteral reflux and other anomalies. Now we move on to somewhat this that is we are confused what is a new word is introduced to us in rocker uh, in edward syndrome that is rocker bottom feet now what happens here is that uh, you would seeing that there are no arches in the foot and this rocker bottom feet is similar to rocking chair you will see the bottom of the rocking chair likewise and that the bottom of this rocking chair is similar to the bottom of the shoe that is being sewn on the adjacent side so what you will remember that rocker bottom feet is associated with rocker bottom shoes and these are seen in cases of rocking chair so from this you can come on to the next part that we have already uh, been discussed now this is in pictorial form so what happens in edward syndrome is that there is uh, 18 chromosome number trisomy then we have overlapping fingers low set ears and small physical size and club feet uh, we have already seen this part now we move on to the next part this already we have covered in the earlier slide now we will go through the picture mnemonic for learning the edward syndrome so uh, as you know uh, there's a celebrity known as edward snowden so uh, edward snowden can be used for remembering the and pick uh, remembering the uh, edward syndrome now edward snowden is sitting in from our in front of a voting booth and voting is given above a years 18 years of age so 18th chromosome is involved after that we can remember that here there is rocking chair and this rocking chair can be uh, also be related to rocking bottom shoes so rocking chair is equal to rocking bottom shoe uh, therefore i have made uh, edward snowden sit on rocking chair now from here we move on to the next part that is there is sitting on a chair and is he is actively swinging on the chair so there is active motion and therefore there is hypertonia now also remember that 
there is can be class fingers so uh, here uh, you would be seeing that edward snowden is having a class finger the fingers are abnormally um, large so that he can clasp it these are all a picture mnemonic to learn and uh, please don't extend it to the actual edward syndrome now also remember that uh, he is having micrognathia that is his uh, face would be small now when we have a small face though so we have a small head and when we have a small head so then we will have mental retardation now from that this is the whole picture mnemonic that you can click and save so that you can revise this picture just before the exam and then you are done with edward syndrome